Hello and welcome to Mr. E's Watch Reviews. Today we are going to be doing the MMI Torret Chronograph. Basically this is a right snazzy watch. We already did the unboxing on it so we've we've had a peek at it but we're going to pull it all out of the box here. The box itself is rather plain Jane cardboard. Nothing too fancy there, but they do give you the super fancy leather carrying pouch, which, like I said, we already have, uh, went over this. It's got the cards and the extra links and all that kind of good stuff, but we're going to get straight to the watch. It does have the super cool MMI logo there. Sorry, we're going to readjust the camera. Here we go. But yeah, you got your super cool MMI logo. Logo. Pull this thing out of here. Now, this is running, I believe, the Seiko Mecha Quartz. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's the Seiko Mecha Quartz. Um, basically, if you go on the website, uh, they have all kinds of super cool like, historical information. Um, dang on it. That light is just killing me. Just not doing what I want. There we go. That's not too bad. Uh, at any rate, hang on a second. Let's see if we can get away from that one light there. Uh, I'm trying to get away from it. Oh, Dag on it. There's just, 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 no, no. The reflection. Just get off the watch. All right. Here we go. We're bringing it in closer. There we go. Damn it. Now you can see my reflection in the watch. That's just killing me. All right. So. Basically, the watch is based off of um, the Civil War, Ironclads, the Monitor, and the Merrimack battle. It's really based more off the Monitor. Um, like the side profile of the case and everything like that. Um, the way they actually set the bezel, uh, it's actually set down, recessed a little bit below the sapphire and everything like that um, to help protect it and help you from bumping it. Uh, it's also set kind of down into the case, as you can see, like an end links and stuff here, uh, to, to help you keep from bumping, uh, the bezel. Um, because this is like an ultimate men's men's watch. It's a diver. It's a chronograph. Uh, let's see what else. I mean, shit, what else do you need to do as a man? I mean... Go diving, skydiving, you know, racing. I mean, this watch just does it all. Um, the regular turret does actually sport the NH35A. And that's why I was a little confused when we did the unboxing on this thing. Because I was sitting there, I was like, man, I could have sworn this thing had a, uh, whatchamacallit, movement in it. Uh, you know, an automatic movement. And, you know, I didn't realize when I asked to borrow philos that this one was the chronograph version um it does have screw down is it screw down pushers i think no nope no screw down pushers it just looks like them but the chronograph hand you know nice and nice and smooth actually for for quartz uh i think that's just because it's that mecha court mecha quartz movement but yeah no it, very nice you know, I do like this watch. I like the way it wears. I like how this body is shaped like that. It is very comfortable. Like this watch is one that is on my to get list because it is just super comfy. I mean, I, I, I absolutely just love this watch. I mean, this thing is just so snazzy. I think, it, see, for me, it's just a, a hard toss-up because the regular turret is just a regular diver's watch. Although I'm not a fan of quartz, I really think I would probably go with this one. Uh, excuse me. They have a number of different dial variations and colors. Um, the loom on these is pretty badass also. Uh, let me grab the flashlight and see if we can get ready to go inside and check that out. Hang on. 
Okay, so as I was saying about that loom, you can see it is super badass. Uh, I believe they're using X1C3 Super Luminova, uh, if I remember all my statistics correctly. Um, this stuff lasts a very long time. It is very, very bright. Uh, you can see the little date indicator down there, that little orange dot. That tells you where the date is. Um, of course, you're going to have to know where they, they are in reference to, you know, all around the dial. But that's how, also another one of the cool features about the MMI watches that I have noticed. Uh, they like to do unconventional things with the date. So hang on a second. All right. So now that y'all can see, because they got the date wheel on the inside right there this number track on the inside there that's the date of course the date is wrong it says it's the 19th um we're gonna let philo adjust that uh i'm sure it just got off by it being in the box you know 31 days 28 days 30 days you know blah 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 so i'm sure it's just no more than eh, i'm sure it probably just let's see unscrew this Pop that out. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yep, just just one click. Today's the 25th. Yep, 25th. All right, easy enough. Simple enough. Screw down crown works nice. That feels really good, actually. That feels really, really good. Nice and smooth, buttery. I have to say, this is more along the lines of what I was expecting as far as the fit and finish. Because if you guys saw my Sky Hunter video, um, it was a prototype and everything like that. But the end link fit was just, and uh, I was not happy with that. But um, this, I totally see why Andrew L over there in Scotland, um, he's the guy who turned me on to these watches, and. Uh, and I can definitely see why Philo was also a fan. Um, yeah, Mr. Wee, this is an absolutely exquisite piece, man. Like, this is fantastic. I mean, I like the Sky Hunter, but like this is this is top notch, buddy. Um, and Mr. Wee is also a race car driver, you guys. I mean, like just so y'all know, like he actually has official licenses for like you know being able to race on big boy tracks, not just a little amateur crap that i do uh yeah mr wee's a legit badass um i don't know like he, he's, he's got some really cool ideas and whatnot like he was asking me if i'd be interested in maybe uh helping him source some materials for dials out of like old hot rods and cars at the at the scrapper airplanes and shit you know so i don't know i think that'd be kind of cool too you know what i'm saying like to have an actual like you know fender out of like a hot rod 57 pick them up truck or something you know what i'm saying that'd just be kind of cool uh but yeah back back to this watch um you know it does got a very deep rehaut in that like it's a, a slightly domed sapphire like just not a lot but a little bit of dome just a little bit just enough for a little distortion but you got your tachymeter speed uh, uh ratings for you know in the mile and all that stuff uh around that outside edge um you know that is actually a pretty cool feature of all the chronographs out there uh it's something i actually current or recently learned the only problem is that you know how the hell do you know how far a mile is you know what i'm saying i mean you got to know exactly how far the mile is in order to be able to get the accurate speed. But it is what it is. Um, I guess you kind of can learn to gauge and judge these things, especially like when you're flying through the air and stuff like that. Um, for me, it's still a little, it's still a little hard to gauge, you know what I'm saying? Like when I'm in the airplane and all that kind of shit and I'm flying, um, like the distance to the ground and all that kind of good stuff. I need to look at the cage in order to know like how high up I really am because, you know, I don't really like heights. So to me, it looks like a million feet and you're like, yeah, you're like 10 foot off the ground, dude. No, I'm just playing. 
But I don't know. Uh, the first time I went up, I mean, I wound up going up to like, dude told me to go up to like 1,500 feet. And you know what I'm saying? I'm just climbing and climbing and climbing. You know, we hit like 3,000. He was like, uh, you know, we can go back down to where I actually wanted us to be. It's like, oh, shit. So, yeah. That's what you get for letting somebody who don't know what they're doing do stuff. But I, I figured it out. But I do. I really like this watch, man. I think this thing is pretty on point. Let me just double check what the price is on this thing. You know what? I'll just put the website down in the description. Y'all can go check it out for yourselves on the prices and stuff. Because I'm not trying to sell these. I'm just reviewing it. I'm just looking it over. Um... But it's got a nice screw down case back. Let's see, it says uh, sapphire, 100 meters, water resistant, 316, one of 238. Um, let's see, turret chronograph. So, yeah, I mean, and this is the yellow dial version. I mean, this is, this is very spiffy watch, man. I really like this. And, you know, like I said, it's nice and comfy. You know what? Let me throw it on the, the scale and let me hit you guys with the micrometer again. But sorry, it just, man, that thing just feels so good on the wrist. And I mean, yes, it is uh, a pressed clasp here, but this part is milled. Um, it does feel right good. I would like to see a, a full milled clasp, but, you know, I understand it is what it is. All right, we're gonna have to go just in between the buttons. So it's just under 40 mil. It's like right at, you know, 39.9. So it's close enough to call it 40, but 39.8 on the actual bezel. 14.3 millimeter thick, <clears throat> excuse me. And because it has the female end links, we'll go right to there. 47.0. Yeah, 47.0. Wow, 47 millimeter north or south. That's pretty sweet. That is so sweet. Let's see, and let's check. Doesn't look like there's any taper to the bracelet, but we'll check, double check. 21.4. Oh, there is just a little bit. 19.7. Just a very, very slight taper. Back up to. 21.6 for the clasp. So that's not bad at all. So that's that's why it really doesn't look like there's a whole lot of taper. It, it, there's just enough taper for it to be able to fit inside the, the buckle there. But yeah, no, I mean, this is this is a very sharp watch. Uh, I want to say it's like retail right around like 350 or 450. Um, I can definitely see where the value is here. Um you know, and honestly, if they, if they got the Sky Hunter bracelet worked out as good as this thing is, oh, uh, that thing is dope. And I mean, it's got the quick release too. Uh, see, you got a double quick release so you don't scratch up the watch. Oh, uh, man. Oh, yep. Look at that. It pops right off. Let's see if it goes back on just as easy. Mm. This one side is wanting to fight. Don't do that. Come on. Don't. Oh, 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 no. oh you want to fight now too, huh? You want some? You want some? Ah. Of course, I just cut all my fingernails off. Booyah. Oh, there we go. Round two. We got it. Just round. Just snap that bad boy right on in. Oh, that is dope. That is so nice. I got to say it again. This one's on my must have list i'm either going to get this one or the actual diver i'm not certain which one i want more i really like the chrono and like the fact that this one is a do-all because i mean yeah i don't know I, yeah. let me know in the comments what you guys think should, should i do the chrono diver or should i do just the diver and i don't have just the diver available but again mmiwatches.com you can go there check out their website you can contact mr Wee. he's also on uh instagram um he's a very very cool dude i, I suggest you message him tell him that mr e sent you 
or Ed at Mr. E or whatever. And for everybody, please subscribe. Um, 2,100 subscribers are giving away this watch. All you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on any of my videos anywhere, and you'll be entered to win. And yes, this is one that I've worn and watch, uh, got scratches on it and stuff like that. All my regular viewers know about it. This is one of my favorites, but they said they wanted it. So you want it, you're going to get it. All right. I really appreciate everybody's time. Thank you all so much. Have a good weekend. Uh, I'll probably talk to y'all once or twice more before Memorial Day weekends all the way through. But at any rate, happy Memorial Day, you guys. Check you later. Bye.